Hey everybody, it's Owen from Owen Ziggle Lab, and today I have the Milano versus the Abelisk. I promised that I was going to do this. I'm also doing a giveaway for the mini Milano. I don't have it with me, but here's a picture of it. So stick around for instructions on how to win that. <laughs> this is at number 76081. It's recommended for ages 7 to 14. It is 460 pieces. By the way, I do have a cold. If I sound stuffy, that's the cold. <laughs> this set is supposed to depict the opening scene of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, where they're fighting the Abelisk, I guess it's called, which is like a ball creature and it's got like tentacles. It's trying to eat the batteries of um, superior species. They're like humans, but they're golden somehow. The thing with this set though, is that they put Nebula in the opening scene. This is what happens when you don't know the whole plot and you don't know all the details. Other than that, the set's awesome though. So, I'm going to cut open the set, rip out its organs, and then we can start building. It's beautiful organs! Ah! So, this set comes with four bags, a sticker sheet, a comic that I will show to you in the Aisha video, which I do intend on doing, and two instruction booklets one for the Abelisk and one for the Milano. Let's pour out its juicy veins. So here I have everything laid out, and I'm going to get building. I'm gonna build its organs into something superior! So now we're gonna stop talking about guts. And now we're going to get building. Here I have the completed set, now we're going to take a closer look. Here is Starlord. He has dirty blonde hair, he has some decent stubble, and a really cool suit. He has some detailing on his pants as well. Comes with two little guns. He has a jetpack on the back of him, and he comes with two faces, his smiling face, and his angry face. Here I show him with his helmet by his side. So that was Starlord. Here is Mara. She comes with her double colored hair with the pink and black. And she also has the outline armor like Star-Lord. She comes with her silver sword. She has her green smiley face and her green angry face. Kind of has a little bit of metallic detailing on it because it's kind of shiny if you look at it. That's Gamora. Here is Drax. He's just a gray guy, but he's got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of tattoos. Or those are really fancy birthmarks. He has his blue pants, he has a belt, and just some other detailing on them. He comes with his two knives and a jetpack. He just has an angry expression on his face. That's Drex. Here's baby Groot. He's just a little tiny twig guy with a couple of spikes up on his head. And then just a little bit of green on him. And then just a little tiny smile on his face. He comes with his little boombox speaker. It's pretty cute. He's a fun little character in the movie. So that's Groot. So here is Nebula. She's basically a cyborg because every time she lost a battle, Thanos would replace a part of her with a robotic part. So he's basically a psycho. He's a psycho parent. So you can tell why she's always angry and she sounds like a cybernetic female. She has a purple outfit with a lot of detailing on her torso, but not any detailing on her pants. She has handcuffs on because she's basically a prisoner for a good portion of the movie. So that was Nebula. Here is the Abelisk. He has sharp teeth on his head and you can just widen his head to that point where it looks like he just basically cut his head in half. He has scary eyes right here. He has a little bit of hair on his head and a little bit of hair on his chin. He's connected by gears, so if you move one of his tentacles, you can move his entire body. 
You can move this tentacle right here without actually moving the rest of his body, but you have limited space to where you can move it. And then this one doesn't move at all, except from left to right. He's holding the little batteries that he's trying to eat. That's the obelisk. Here is the Milano. You can open the cockpit to access its features. Inside there, there is a little control system, a little targeting system, and then a little cassette player with obviously Star Wars. They have two stud shooters. Push down. Wow. Oh, yeah. There's some detailing on the top of the cockpit right there. There's some detailing on the front as well. And over here it says Milano. It has little wing tips. There is a little stabilizer in the back. And then a little thruster. Two stabilizers in the back and middle on the right wing. There's this little dot right here. I'm not sure what that's supposed to symbolize. If you pay close attention, you would see this little push down thing. As you can see, there are some little bombs on the sides of the wings. So if you just push down those, the bombs will come out. So I'll give you an example. So you can just push it. This is what the bomb looks like. If you look down at the bottom of the ship from this angle, you can see a little engine, a hyperdrive, or a generator. I don't know, could be either. You can comfortably fit everybody in there without the weapons. If you do put the weapons in, you gotta shove them in there. But yeah, this is much easier. There's Groot just nestled in there. So yeah, that's the Milano. If you want to win the mini Milano, here it is again. You have to click on a link in the description, enter your name and email address. It'll be picked at random. It'll be announced next Friday. I'm gonna pin the results on this video, not next week's video, this video. So just come back next Friday and see if you won or not. And I will be doing the Last Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 set. Aisha's Revenge, I'm not sure when. It might be next week, it might be the week after that. But there will be another giveaway involved in that video as well. Keep a close eye out for that. But anyways, that was my The Milano versus The Abelisk video. You know the drill. Like the video if you like the set. Comment, tell me what you think, and tell me who's your favorite character in the set. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. But other than that, nothing. See you guys next time. Bye.